Uh, AK Mac here with Roddy Kellen. Has kind of been like a theme lately. You have a lead, uh, things happen, the other team catches up, and then you kind of dispose of them late. Yeah, you know, what, what happens is, is that we get these big leads, and then it just seems as if, you know, we stop getting to the basket, we start settling for more threes, uh, we get away from what, we're, what got us in the lead in the first place, and so we've got to mature in that way, but, you know, you can make as many excuses as you want. We are still a new team, but at the end of the day, it's, we just have to play a little bit more simple basketball when it comes down to it. So like, we come out of the second half, and we talk about keeping our pace and doing this and doing that, and then we come out and we settle for three threes, the first three possessions, and then turn the ball over. So it just, you know, we have got to get better in that in that way. But, again, Everett is an amazing basketball program. They won the North the last five years in a row, and we beat them both times in league uh, this year. And so, I mean, it, we should be proud, but we have to learn. We need to learn. 11-point lead at halftime. Uh, Andre Polk not getting the start tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just decided to go with a little bit of a different look. Um, he's been nails for us all year. Um, you know, he's got a little bit of a toe injury, and so uh, we're just working with him uh, a little bit with what he's got going on. Um, but he's a great young man, and, and he'll be back in the starting lineup next game, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the others uh, kind of filled in from Owen Cross. Uh, yeah. Can you start today? Wayne Jamison, I thought, overall played well tonight and helped hit some key buckets down the stretch. Wayne hit you. some big buckets. Wayne hit some huge buckets. He's done it all year for us. Um, he's just such an athletic basketball player. And I mean that in the sense that he's not going to, like, oh, jump and dunk all over you, but he's really quick. Uh, he's got quick feet, and his balance is amazing. And so um, he's a guy that works really hard in the weight room, and it shows because he's able to go full speed, stop on one foot, and still have the strength enough to power it up there and finish the layup through contact. So he's just an amazing athlete. I love him as a kid. He's just a great guy, steady as can be, um, and he works really hard at it. So, you know, we're excited that we get him for another year next year. So yes. that's pretty amazing. Yeah, freshman this year from uh, from Westview, Portland, Oregon. Yeah, Portland, Oregon, man. Yeah, we have a few we have a few Oregon guys coming back yeah. for us this next year. Uh -uh. So it's pretty pretty fun though. Um, and we have just an impressive group this year. They're great young men, and they they work really hard at the game. So um, you know we're we're playing well at the right time, and we just need to continue that trend. Uh, and finally, uh, I don't have the final stats totals here, uh, but uh, but the the Rangers shared the ball well. Just judging by the first half numbers, Rangers once again shared the ball well. Yeah, yeah, and that's what we've been doing. I mean we. Go over to Peninsula College. They're the, considered the best defensive team in the NWAC, and we put 94 on them. And then we go over to Shoreline last Wednesday, and we put 111 on them. And so you just kind of go, wow, we're starting to figure it out. And we're figuring it out at the right time. We're figuring out that the best way to beat teams, especially in this tough league and in the NWAC in general, is to get the ball moving. Especially for our team, we always have five threats on the floor at once, and we take pride in that. And so we, we got five guys that are going to put pressure on the defense at some point. Um, and so when you have that and you move the ball, it's dangerous. So Another great win. Thanks, Coach. Thank you so much, K-Mac. Appreciate it.